beautiful light too is a grey heron and it's going to be quite nice I think for screenshots in the next 10 minutes or so if we're here for that long beautiful mirror shot of that grey heron sort of just standing and waiting very very patiently for a little fish or a frog or even maybe a baby terrapin to swim past and it will then snatch it up now what's interesting about herons is their fishing technique so you get many different types of uh, birds that will fish from kingfishers um, to of course the, the herons and a whole lot more I just want, I thought I heard something in the distance sorry just making sure no it wasn't anything so anyways this heron has got an interesting technique so it will actually wade through the water and try and flush prey out like that at the moment it's, it's taken a different technique and it's actually just waiting very patiently until a little fish swims past now that's a good area that it's in you can see there's lots of little grass there too so those fish and frogs and things will come around there and then it will stab them now Roshni you've said that that's a lovely reflection it is it's really really beautiful there's a very gentle breeze out this afternoon not very much just a little one so you can see a couple of ripples in the water and also a, those ripples there might be fish or insects but you can see that heron's just taking a very very slow step look how careful it's being putting its foot through into the water making sure that it doesn't create too much movement on the water surface now I just want to see because it's making its move if it's perhaps maybe spotted something and it's going to try and stab at the water let's see come on birdie you can do it give us a kill for Monday afternoon wouldn't that be fantastic if it were to do something like that I think herons are my favorite birds it almost looks like it's it actually looks like it's hungry no, I don't know if it's hungry or not just the way that it moved its beak a bit but made me think of a cat licking its lips well in the cartoons how the animals always lick their lips when they're hungry of course they don't normally do that well dogs do that I suppose but isn't this just absolutely gorgeous now come on birdie catch us something I seem to have a lot of luck too with the herons I've seen a number of live kills maybe this afternoon will be another one but with something like this you've got to be exceptionally patient and willing to wait quite a long time because you never know how many jabs at the water it might take before the heron is successful but a perfect beak sharp like a steak knife or the tip of a Maasai spear but it doesn't seem like we're lucky just yet anyways we're going to sit here for a little bit longer i'm going to send you across now to ali who's managed to find her friends the zebra